Shalom. I want to start off by saying Kal Halal Yamla, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us the truth and who rule well. Peace and citations unto the Akim that is spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this word and sincerity and the truth. Shalom to the hopeful elect. I'm the brother Quatas Sayan, coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, with another lesson, with another video. And in this video, I want to speak about Revelations 5 and 13. And it reads, And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth, and such as are in the sea, and all that are in them, heard I saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth on, upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. Gone. So let me go to the Blue Little Bible app. Revelations 5. And I'm going to start at 11. For the full understanding. This is Revelations 5 and 11. And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beasts, and the elders, and the number of them was ten thousand, ten thousand, so like a ten times, so like a ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands. Gone. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Gone. So I'm going to go into what the Lamb represents, who the Lamb is. Verse 13, this is what I read. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them, heard I saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb for ever and ever. And the four beasts said, Amon, and the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth for ever and ever. Gone. So, in this scripture, the key point is to know who the Lamb is. And I'm going to go to Revelations 13. Verse 8. This is Revelations 13, verse 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain for the foundation from the foundation of the world. I'll read again. Revelations 13 and 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Gone. You see? So here it says that even the, the the every creature that is not written in the book of life shall worship him. That's what we just read. Every creature that was on the earth, in the heaven, underneath the sea, you know, every everything, everybody is gonna worship him. You see? Because the lamb that was slain since the foundation from the earth is speaking about who? Is speaking about Yahweh Shai. Let's go to Revelations. No, wait a second. This just popped into my mind. Daniel, the 7th chapter, I believe. Because he's going to have dominion over everything, over everybody. You know, because the world was created for his sake. What's this? Bear with me for a second. Daniel 27, verse 7. 
and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey Him. Gone. So the saints of the Most High, they are going to have dominion over the kingdom, over the whole heaven, over the whole earth. You see? But then you have Yahweh Shai, he's going to be the king of kings. He's going to be our king. Let's see. Revelations 19, I believe. with me for a second gone we we'll just get uh, 16 this is revelations 19 for 16 and he had on his vesture and on his thigh a name written King of kings and lords of lords. You see? So, this this lamb, which is Yahweh Shai, he is the king of kings. He comes first and then everybody else because every dominion was given unto him. You know? As the book of Hebrews says, I believe. Let's see. Wasn't in Hebrews one. Let me see if I can find it in my Bible, in my sword. Bear with me for a second, Akio. supposed to be in Hebrews if every dominion was given unto him Consolakia can't find it real quick but let me continue the lesson let me go to the book of First Thessalonians four and sixteen. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of Yahweh, and the dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first. God. So the the men of the Lord, the men of this ministry that have died they are going to be risen first the ones that have been beheaded the ones that uh, lay and rest right now you know that that have been died that died of old age you know those are the ones that are going to be risen first which i was shy for 17. then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet yahweh shy in the air and so shall we ever be with yahweh shy gone this does say in the Bible, the scripture has spoken. You see, so this is what's going to happen. Yahweh Shai is going to come, and then the dead in Yahweh Shai are going to rise up first, and then we that are alive, that remain, 
because there's a small remnant that is going to be saved, you know, 144,000, they are going to be beamed up and they are going to be um, they are going to be resurrected together with Yahweh Shai. You see? They're going to be caught up in the air. Let's go to Revelations 19, verse 7. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife had made herself ready. God, and so the marriage of the Lamb, meaning the Lamb is Yahweh Shai, and the marriage is joining. What is marriage? Marriage is joining together. So we are going to be joined together with Yahweh Shai in the skies. You see? And his wife had made herself ready. And what does the book of Jeremiah 6 and 2 says? I have likened Zion, I have likened Israel as a comely woman. So we are the wife that are going to be joined onto Yahweh Shai. You see? Let's go to the book of Hosea. Hosea 2, verse 16. And it shall be at that day, say it, Yahweh, that thou shalt call me Ishi, and shall call me no more Bali. For I will take away the names of Balaam out of her mouth, and they shall no more be remembered by their name. Gone. And if you go into that word Ishi, it means husband. So we are going to be the husband. You see? We are going to be joined unto Yahweh Shai. And thou shalt no more call me Bali. And Bali is uh, Baal, is our other word for Baal, which is our other hedonistic god. For I will take away the names of Balaam, which is Bali, which is Baal, out of her mouth. Out of whose mouth? Her, meaning Zion, meaning uh, Israel. And they shall no more be remembered by their name. You see? So we are going to be the husband of Yahweh Shai. Slakia. The Yahweh Shai is gonna be our husband. We are the, the the bride. You see? Go into the last scripture which is in Isaiah fifty four. Verse five. For thy maker is thine husband, the Lord of hosts is his name. And thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the power of the whole earth shall be, shall he be called. Come on, let me read it again. Isaiah 54, verse 5. For thy maker is thy husband, which is Yahweh. The Lord of hosts is his name. And thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the power of the whole earth shall he be called. Come on, so... Everybody is going to worship Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. They're no, no more going to worship these false images. They're no more going to follow after their own ways. There's only going to be one power that is going to be that's gonna be worshipped. There's only one power that's going to be in place. Because now, you have so many gods. You have every, uh, a day for every god, a god for every day. You see, as soon as I go to work or if I turn on the radio, today is the day of this, today is the day of that. You know, these Edomites have taken the, the ways of these, uh, of, what do you call it, Elam. Because Elam has so many gods. And I can see it now in the spirit of uh, Esau also, man, that they have, a, that they have a, a god for every day. A day to worship something. You see. But in this day, the maker is going to be thine husband, which is Yahweh. Khan. So, Lord willing, this video is edifying, and I want to say, Kal halal yamla, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rekha Kudash, Shalom Akim.